Hi, welcome once again to Air Engine Research. Today I'm going to do just a, a short video to kind of bring you up to date on what I've been doing over the last month or so. Uh, it's been, it's winter time naturally and it's cold and I don't really have a, a well heated <laughs> garage to work in, but I do manage some and today I went out and uh, run the the latest one that I had said I was going to work on in the last video. It's the uh, updated version of the one that I had made earlier. But anyway, you'll be able to see that in the video. So I'll just go ahead and let the, the short videos run that I put together. But in the meantime, I had worked on some other ideas and one of them that I thought would work out pretty well, I called it the uh, orbital engine. And it has one uh, push or one crankshaft that is mounted solid to a ring and it rotates a center crankshaft. But this goes in an orbital motion, so that's why I called it the orbital engine. Uh, on this one is the first one that I was able to create a valve that didn't leak. So once I did that, then that gave me the opportunity to come back and, and use this, this engine. Now this one works re really well, although I had to come up with a, what they call a flexible uh, valve stem because the cylinders rotate so they, they they have to bend in order to still work in the proper orientation. Now like I said this one works rather well but the problem is the vibration. It, it just cannot be used because of that. It looks like it runs fine there. What happens when it starts running? It just, you have to have it mounted solid to something and if it's not large enough, it'll still vibrate like crazy. So I just cannot use that. Now, this one, it has some features that my original one didn't have. It has bearings that I that I put in here where the push rods ride on. And it also has bearings out here on three spots to, to take up any, any pressure off of the drive shaft rods. And this one just rotates in a straight thing. The cylinders here are mounted solid, but I do still have to have some little bit of a flex in the uh, push rods just to because of the offset when it rotates. But this one does not vibrate hardly at all. And if it does, it's very, very little. You can almost let it set free on the desk and it, it may move a little bit around, but it doesn't vibrate. I don't have my third cylinder or my third valve on it yet, so it will only start when the right position with either one of these is in the in the right place. There. As long as this is directly out from the thing, it'll run. Since my last video, I have uh, made a frame for it to fit on. I have the third cylinder hooked up now, and uh, it does pretty good. I'm still not satisfied with some of the things that 
I have to deal with in, in this design. One of them is since there's a, a drive shaft and a uh, rotating uh, valve control, I can't have this, the, the shaft of the piston pushing straight down onto the to the wheel or to the drive mechanism which has to be around in a circular motion like that. And what the problem is, since I have to go around the shaft, then this part always wants to be flexible. And I don't I don't like that. It's it's too much that can wear and, and move around. It makes a lot of noise because of the flip flopping around. The cylinder works okay with the with the new valves. The drive mechanism for the valves that works okay. Um, it doesn't have much vibration like the first one where I had the uh, orbital drive. That really was terrible. It don't. It still does have a little bit of vibration, but not a whole lot. Um, I'm going to see if if I could maybe come up with some other way of having this either operated off the rear of the engine and get rid of some of this, then I can have this all exposed and I can make it push straight down, which will eliminate, I think, most of that flip-flop. But for what I've got done right now, uh, it works, but I'm really not satisfied with it. I'll have to see what else I can come up with, maybe. It doesn't vibrate too bad, a little bit. And as you can see, I mean, it's just free setting, so if it wants to flip around, it can do it. But it does fairly well, so not so bad. So, today I'm going to go work on another idea that I have, and I'll be coming up with another video probably before too long to uh, let you see what that idea might be. It's in the winter time right now, and it's snowing, as a matter of fact, right outside, so it's kind of cold in here, and not much fun to work in this condition. So, it may be a while before I do anything on another video, but I did want to just kind of go back over with what I had done on the last video with the orbital, and with this one that wasn't finished and bring you up to date. Thanks again for checking in and for those of you who are longtime subscribers, appreciate your checking in and hope you continue to watch. And for those who are either new subscribers or not subscribers, I hope you'll enjoy and see some kind of benefit in, in the work that I'm trying to do and will continue either or subscribe and for that I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today but I'll keep you all posted with any new videos or new projects that I want to work on.